Hello, welcome to all to your pranic flow. My name is Isabel. A pretty simple practice today, but you might appreciate a block. So if you have one, have it handy. And uh, I always like a blanket for additional comfort. You might too. And then come to a comfortable seat. And that might be easy pose or lotus, half lotus kneeling as I am and allow your eyes to soften or close completely and as you release your vision of the external world sense your interior sensitivity start to awaken Enjoy the natural cascade of your inhale and your exhale and let it start to smooth the length of your spine so that skull and shoulders are stacking over pelvis. We're exploring the five prawns today, the five movements of prana in the body. Any balanced, holistic practice will be balancing these five prawns. But it's lovely and magical to bring more awareness of these movements of energy into the practice. So with eyes softly closed, start to tune in to prawn, prawn. And it's the easiest to sense this upward lifting movement of energy by enjoying the inhalation and sensing what's happening in the length of your body as you breathe in. The lungs fill and actually lift you up. And this is prawn prawn, a vertical extension, an uplifting and forward moving quality. And we'll meet its balance now through a pawn. As you exhale, feel a descending and grounding quality through the pelvis and even through the legs and the feet and any part of your body that's connecting with the floor. The inhale will lengthen you back through prawn. The exhale enables you to empty, release, and come to stillness. Feel the beautiful balance of these two qualities, prawn and a pawn. And we'll shift to the third, saman prawn. So staying with the exhale, your next exhale, Tune into the center of your body, the space behind the navel, and how everything also kind of draws in and contracts with your exhalation. And then relax and inhale. And as you relax and inhale, you'll feel its answer through viands, kind of radiant expansion. Again, exhale and feel that squeeze at the navel and this drawing in of power condensation of energy, inhale and radiate beyond pran. This radiation is in every direction and not just up and forward. Again, exhale, squeeze in, feel that power condense, and then inhale and spread it equally in all directions. So now continue your balanced inhalation and exhalation but invite a quality of relaxation. So a softening of the skin. And now we connect with Udan. Udan is the subtlest of all these prawns. It's my theory that it's Udan that we come to yoga practice for. 
It's like the sweet promise of the more of you that you can't see, that maybe you have no palpable evidence for, but that you know. Udan is most easily contacted through meditation, shavasana, and balanced postures, but you can feel it now like a very soft, sweet breeze from the beyond. Bring your palms now into Namaskar Mudra at the heart. If I were to title today's practice, it would be Love Alchemist. That's you. As we blend and balance these energies, one Om. Oh. Eyes can open and come onto your hands and knees now for table position. Create a stable table formation. Fan out the palms, shoulders are over the wrists, hips are over the knees, tops of the feet root down. Inhale, draw your lungs forward between the arms, lift your seat, look forward or up. Exhale, pull the belly in, squeeze and round and continue this familiar movement, inhaling and feel the opening of pran pran drawing you forward. Exhale, round, empty as completely as you can and feel the grounding support of a pawn. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, pran, pran, uplifting, moving forward. Exhale, empty, 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 ground strongly upon. One more, inhale. And exhale. Come back into your neutral spine. You're inhaling here. Saman Pran, exhale. Squeeze the right shoulder towards the right hip. Look behind you towards your right hip. Inhale through center. Exhale, squeeze on the left. Ignite your core. Inhale, center. Exhale, squeeze right. Inhale, center. And exhale, squeeze left. One more time, awakening this core, this condensation of energy at the center. Inhale through center. And exhale, left side. Come back to your neutral table. Take the palms a little further forward. Curl the toes underneath and lift the knees off the ground. Rise into your parvat, your mountain pose. You're welcome to be on your tippy toes, on the balls of the feet. You can have the knees nicely bent. So whether the heels are coming down or the heels are lifted high off the floor, feel the extension now of prawn from your fingers up through your seat. So up and behind you. And then feel the grounding support of a pawn through your feet, whatever part of the feet is on the ground, through your fingertips. Breathe deeply here, ujjayi breath, and sense the lovely balance you're creating, this radiant lifting up through the seat, pran, and the grounding, the stillness, and the release of energy through a pan. And You might be pedaling the heels, that's fine. Or stillness. Come with me now, float up onto the tippy toes, inhale. Exhale, land your knees with control to the ground. Rise to stand on the knees with the hands to the fronts of the thighs. Toes are tucked under still. Inhale and lift your lungs. This is the babiest 
camel, and it's baby to help you feel the beautiful reality of pran pran in the lungs, lifting you up. The gaze may naturally follow suit. If you feel ready to come a little deeper, you can, but don't sacrifice the subtlety of your awareness. Pran lifting you with every inhale. And every exhale, grounding through your knees, your toes, and helping to tuck your tailbone underneath. Last inhale, rising sweetly higher through the lungs. Exhale, engage your belly, pull it in and back, palms to the floor, and again, find your parvat. Inhale from fingers to pelvis. And exhale from pelvis to your heels, to your toes. Bringing in Vyan Pran now. Inhale and lift your right heel up and back. And just feel the energetic nuance with this extension of your leg. You're starting to fill the space with your energy. Let's enjoy this even more. Start to draw circles with your right toes as if on the wall behind you. So you're articulating the full rotation of your ankle as you breathe. Take three or four or five cycles in one direction and then swap your direction. Keep breathing fully and deeply and feel the radiance of Vyan Pran. You are extending your field beyond the circumference of your skin. Inhale, extend the right heel even higher and further back. Exhale, land the right foot to the ground. Find the equilibrium in Parvat. Breathe in and breathe out and inhale to lift your left heel bright and high up and back enjoy this reach and extension and as you breathe start to circle through the ankle three or four or five circles in one direction Jai Pranayam, you're filling the space even more with the articulation of your foot and then reverse your direction Last inhale to radiate back through your straight left leg. Exhale to land the foot to the floor. Find your parvat, inhale. And exhale, walk your feet forward and feel a pun in the feet as you continue to exhale. Feet underneath the hips, soften at the top of the mat into a forward fold. Whatever feels good you can do with your hands, maybe palms, or fingers to the ground, or you could use your block here to lift the floor to your hands, or you could take your thumbs into the divots of the elbows and increase your sense of surrender, upper body weight down. Any variation through the hands, but your focus is on the balance of pran, now lifting you up through the tailbone, through the sacrum, and at the same time, or rather right after, the flow of a pawn down the legs and into the feet. So your uplifting is married by your grounding. Perfect couple, perfect balance. One more inhale. Exhale, you can release your fingers, palms to the floor. Inhale in a slow unraveling of the spine. Take your time. You can sense the balance of pran and upon here. Every inhalation fueling your lift and every exhalation supporting that lift by grounding down. Come to the peak of your full standing height. Draw your shoulders forward, squeeze up and then exhale them down the back. Again, feet under the hips, sweep the arms forward and up. Inhale through the fingertips, exhale, fold the fingers around the thumbs and pull your fists down by your rib cage. And feel the ignition of Saman Pran at the center as you exhale. Inhale and reach, exhale, pull down. Every inhale, every reach up 
you're embodying pran pran, this uplifting extension momentum. And every exhale, you can feel the power of release through a pan pran and the strength of your core, saman pran. Keep going, full inhales, full exhales. If your shoulders are troubling you, you can slow it down or even stop the movement of the arms and just feel it through your breath. Few more moments. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, 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 reach up. And exhale, fan the palms out and enjoy the reach of the yan as you release the arms slowly down. Find samastitihi. It's almost like Leonardo da Vinci's anatomical pose uh, in that drawing you all know, I think. So in this position, you can feel the perfect balance of all five prongs the uplifting through the crown and the lungs, the grounding through the tailbone and the heels, the feet, the strength at your core, helping the spine maintain its length, and the radiance of your organic energy in every direction through your body. And in the sense of equilibrium, you can feel Udan, Peace, beauty, sweetness. Three rounds, Surya Namaskar A, with focus on the prawns. Step to the top of your mat. Again, feet can remain uh, hip width distance apart. You can bring the big toes to connect if you prefer. Take the palms open by the sides of the body. Inhale, sweep out and up. Palms connect. And exhale, pull your belly in as you fold all the way down. Hands to the shins, inhale and lengthen into your half lift. Exhale, palms to the floor, step back into your high plank. We're staying here for a few breaths. One or both knees can come to the floor anytime you need. I want you to experience for yourself the balance of Saman and Vian in this position. So Saman, igniting your core, straightening the spine, kind of ironing out any dip in the low back or collapse. And then Vian, extending vibrantly through your heels, through your crown, and even to the sides of the body as the whole of you is included in this position. Take a last inhale, and this first round, will come all the way down. So you can come flat like a plank or drop your knees gently first and then come all the way down. Palms under the shoulders, press the tops of the feet to the floor. Inhale and lift into baby cobra. We're holding here for a few breaths. The shoulders melt, maybe the eyes close. And you are feeling the magic of pran pran. All of your awareness drawn into the lungs. Feel how they float and expand with every inhalation. You can stay in this little cobra form or press a little bit into the hands and rise up as long as there's no pain of compression in your low back. Compression is fine, but the pain we don't want to encourage. And keep feeding pran pran to your whole body through the expansion and lift of your lungs. And here, your gaze might naturally start to track forward or start to lift up. So beautiful, this uplifting forward reach. It's like you're embodying life. Inhale. So exhale all the way back down. Tuck the toes underneath. Inhale, you can lift through plank or through your bent knees. And exhale, draw your pelvis back. Find your parvat. Inhale. And exhale.
You are an energetic alchemist. You are balancing all of these movements inside. One more cycle. Look forward, inhale. So lift up onto your tippy toes. Exhale, bend the knees, and then with no breath, use the power of Saman Pran to try a little hop. You can step or walk if you prefer. Bring the hands to the shins, lengthen, inhale. Pull the belly in, exhale, and fold. Root down, sweep out and up. Vian Pran, inhale, radiate. Palms connect, exhale, hands to heart center. And as they crest the heart, release the hands, come back into your samastitihi, this beautiful, neutral place. Take a single inhale and a full exhale. You're sensing the balance of all five prawns. Another Surya Namaskar, reach out and up, inhale. Palms connect, exhale, draw the prayer down. The knees can bend if you prefer that. Lengthen, inhale, and exhale. Palms to the floor, step back, find your plank. Again, consciously balance Saman and Vian. Inhale, stay as you exhale. Inhale again. And this time, exhale, maybe Chaturanga Dandasana, coming halfway down to hover. Or you can land, of course, if you prefer. Untuck the toes, and you're inhaling to feel the lift of pran through cobra or up dog. Exhale, saman pran. Pull your belly back. Full inhale. And full exhale. Twice more. Sense your own ability to balance these movements. The lovely reach of your spine. The grounding release of your exhale. And if you like, join me for another hop fueled by Saman. Lift up onto the tippy toes, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, fully breathe out, and then with no breath, with your belly engaged, you're hopping the feet forward between the hands. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale, pull your belly in as you fold. Sweep out and up, inhale, palms connect, exhale, the hands come down to float in front of the heart, and again, samastitihi, breathe in, breathe out, this equal standing pose is equal expression of prans, inhale, last three namaskar A, lift up. Exhale, fold, empty, squeeze your belly. Inhale to lengthen and brighten through your spine. Exhale, palms to floor, stepping back. Again, we stay a little longer than usual. Inhale, feel the on, less and less effort. Exhale, engage Saman, navel drawing in. Inhale, And exhale, maybe your chaturanga, maybe your knees, belly, heart. Inhale, open up, feel the burst of pran at your chest. Exhale, saman, pull the belly in, draw the pelvis back, and just circuit the breath. Soften anywhere there's unnecessary holding. Let your skin express a subtle quality of Vian, expanding and filling the space around you. Another hop if you wish. Lift up onto the tippy toes, inhale. Exhale, pump the knees, no breath. Pull the belly in, hop the feet forward. Lengthen, inhale. Pull the belly in, fold, exhale. Sweep the arms out and up, inhale, radiate. And exhale, hands draw down to heart center. Take the palms soft and open to the sides and sense this samastitihi, this equal standing pose, a new depth of meaning. So now let's invite more udan, more awareness of udan into the practice through balancing. 
Bring your awareness into your right foot. Peel the left heel off the floor. Open the left knee to the side. The toes can slide in to the inner right ankle or a little bit higher below your knee or well high above the knee. So just protect your knee by eliminating any pressure from the uh, left foot. And the hands can come into Namaskar Mudra. Let your drishti, your gaze, softly fall to some still place. And as you do so, feel the back of your brain start to relax. The ujjayi breath, like the sound of the ocean. Don pran, this subtlety you sense keeping the hands in prayer today. And it's okay if you're doing something different. Stay with me, full breath in. And now as you exhale, free your left foot and draw your left thigh over your right. Start to bend your right knee. Left toes can rest to the ground or wrap all the way around or just hover. We're taking a modified eagle. Squeeze the inner thighs to each other. And you're still receiving the breeze of Udan. You can stay as is or include the arms. Inhale, extend out. Exhale and draw your left arm under your right. Maybe a little hug to opposite shoulders or backs of hands or fronts of palms connect. Elbows rise to the height of your shoulders while the shoulders soften down. A lot is happening here. We are engaging a strong support from Saman. But the balance continues to soften your brain. Udan. Take a last inhale. And as you exhale, we'll unwrap the limbs, plant the left foot down, sweep the arms out and up. Inhale. And exhale, hands float back down to prayer at the heart. Weight now into your left foot. Peel the right heel off the ground, open it wide, and find the same height along the inner left leg as you did on the first side. So well below or well above your knee. And then hands reconnect in prayer. And it's fine to take additional support, uh, maybe fingertips to a wall. Amazing that in the midst of the effort of balancing, such a breeze of softness can be felt. Stillness. Quiet. Udan. Stay with me if you can. Inhale and release the right foot. Take the right thigh over the left thigh, starting to bend your left knee. Maybe right toes rest to the floor or just hang here or wrap the leg further around, whatever works. Squeeze the inner thighs, bend the knees slightly more. And the hands can stay as is or reach them out to the sides. Inhale. Exhale and the right arm comes under the left and take whichever bind you enjoyed on the first side. The shoulders stay melting onto your back body. And if you're in the twist tie, you're lifting the elbows gently to shoulder height. Find Udan, let it feed you, particularly through the back of your body, back of your brain. You might even imagine that a soft palm is cupping the back of your brain. Udan, Pran. Last inhale. 
And as you release the exhale, unwind your leg, your arm, root down through the feet, sweep the arms out and up, inhale. And let's flow, exhale, prayer comes down as you fold over your body. Inhale, enjoy length, extension. Exhale, palms to the floor, step back to find your plank. And again, pause. Balance Saman and Vian. Inhale. Exhale, draw the heart forward, maybe Chaturanga, maybe knees, belly, heart. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog. Lift through your lungs. Exhale and draw the pelvis back. Find your Parvat. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, Vian Pran, float your right leg up and back. Exhale, Saman, pull the knee forward, squeeze towards the belly, and then settle your right foot just inside of your right thumb. Spin the back left heel to a 45 degree angle, root through your front foot, and we'll rise into traditional warrior one. So for some of us, the back heel um, rooting down, is going to feel uncomfortable. If you want, you can pivot up onto the ball and toes of your back foot instead. Doesn't matter. But take the hands to the pelvis and help the pelvis spin forward. Then release the hands and sweep them forward and up, inhaling. Exhaling. The hands might softly face each other over your crown or thread the fingers together and steeple the indexes. And here, exaggerate prawn, prawn, by lifting through your fingertips. Allow your shoulders to tense, squeezing up the inner arms towards the ears, inhale. And then exhale, let the shoulders melt down and let the outer upper arms roll in towards your face. And feel prawn, prawn this uplifting quality through your fingers, through your crown, and through your lungs. Breathe in. As you breathe out, release the fingers, but bring the prayer down in front of your chest. And now land your back left foot to perpendicular and press your arms away from the heart. You're inhaling beyond prawn, then extend the fingers. Draw the right knee towards your right pinky toe. Seal the outer edges of both feet down. And feel that you're filling the whole space. Vian Pran, make your body as reaching, like stretch man, elastic man, reach it out from your center. Up, down, forward, and back. Fill the space. One last inhale. And now as you exhale, begin to straighten your right leg. And if you like, heel toe the left back foot in a little bit further. Draw the left hip towards the rear of the room. Reach long. And then let your right hand land to your right shin or your block as your left fingers reach up. Simple triangle pose and still enjoying Vian Pran. If you like, you can remove all the support from your bottom hand and just feel yourself fan out like a star while the spine maintains its extension. Feel that the left hip is drawing further towards the back of the room. The crown of the head is lengthening longer towards the wall beyond your head. Last inhale. As you exhale, pull the belly in. Let Saman help you up. Warrior two, briefly reach out. Inhale. And exhale. Spin the palms to the floor. Take the weight. Step the right foot to the rear. Breathe in. Breathe out. Chaturanga or knees, belly, heart. Lift open. Inhale. Pull back, find your parvat, exhale, and just melt. 
Find the balance and soften into the balance of prawn and a pawn. The lift and length of your spine. The grounded quality of your hands and your feet. Other side. Inhale, lift your left heel high, high, up and back, Vian. Exhale, squeeze the knee in towards the center, Saman, and then gently land the foot to the inside of the left thumb. Spin your back right heel, root down through your front foot, and come up. Find your warrior one. Actually, let's spin the pelvis forward with the help of the hands. And those of you that need to correct the back knee for safety, you can pop the back heel up instead. It can be nice to experiment with traditional warrior one, though, if your left knee, or rather right knee, allows. And then reaching up, palms soft, facing one another, or threading the fingers, steepling the indexes, and then squeeze your inner arms up, 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 and in towards your ears. Inhale. Exhale and melt the shoulders down and feel that you're rolling the outer upper arms in towards the face. And here you are embodying prawn, prawn. Feel the lungs lift and almost reach forward. And feel the extension of your fingers towards the ceiling. Feel the reach of your crown straight up. Inhale, exhale, release the thread of the fingers, draw your prayer down in front of your heart. Inhale, spin the back heel, so we're setting up for warrior two. Exhale and press as if imaginary walls away from you and then extend through the fingertips. So you are filling the space. Drawing left knee towards left pinky toe, outer edges of both feet sealing to the ground. As you engage that, you'll feel even more width that you're embodying through the opening of the pelvis and the opening of the chest. Relax the shoulders. Sense the radiance of your energy body beyond the confine of your skin. And as you next exhale, straighten your left leg. I like to shorten the stance a little bit for trikonasana. You might too. Draw your right hip towards the rear, reach, and then land your left hand to your shin, to your block, as your right palm comes straight up. Feel the length of your spine continue to increase as the right hip draws towards the wall behind you and the crown reaches towards the wall beyond you. And then maybe take all the support out of your bottom hand as you radiate like a star. Vian Pran needs the support of Saman. Pulling the belly in, strengthening the musculature around the spine. They go together. Last inhale, and now exhale as gently find your warrior two again, reach out, inhale, and exhale the palms to the floor, take the weight, step the left foot to the rear, inhale, high plank, Vian Pran, exhale, draw the heart forward, Saman, as you descend with control, lift, open, Pran, Pran. Exhale, pull the pelvis up and back and ground your whole body. All these energetic movements are movements of love, subtle qualities of love. Lift your right heel up and back. And as you exhale, pull the knee forward. This time, settle it between your two hands. 
and then pivot in whatever way makes sense so that you can see more easily so that both feet are about one leg's length distance apart and you're in a proserita stance. Here's where you might want your block handy and you don't have to use a block. But if you're using the block, the block can come underneath the hands. The hands are underneath the face. Find a radiance through the flare of your hips behind you, the rooting of your feet, and then take the hands to the hips as you continue to lengthen the spine straight forward. Inhale and exhale. Bring your left palm, sorry, right palm to the floor to or block and your left hand to your sacrum. Open up to the left hand side, reaching the fingers up if that's comfortable. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Let's replace now the left palm where the right was, the right hand to the sacrum. Lengthen. Inhale. And exhale. Open now towards the right hand side. And right fingers up if you like. Breathe in. Breathe out. One breath per movement now. Release. Right hand to floor. Inhale. Open through the left. And exhale. Left palm down. Swap to the right. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Open left. And exhale. Notice. You can try to keep your spine long. Inhale. As you transition side to side, engaging a little more support through Saman. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale right. Exhale. Inhale left. Exhale. Last side, inhale, and exhale. Bring the hands to your block or to the floor now, and allow your body to fold to its comfortable release. And here we have options. Hands can stay to the ground if you like. Hands can rest to your sacrum. Hands could uh, grasp opposite elbows or you could thread the fingers together in a finger lock and release the arms up and away from the body. So there's all kinds of possibilities here. Do whatever feels the most relevant and the most supportive for your practice, for your balance of prawns. Last inhale. Rise up halfway, breathe in. Stay here, breathe out as the hands come to your hips. Inhale, come slowly all the way up. And exhale, spin the toes, whichever toes are towards the front of your mat, towards that space. And then a big hop with your back foot or maybe two steps to join that first foot. Hands in prayer, breathe in. And then release your hands, samastitihi. Conscious balance of all five movements. We'll come gradually to the floor now. Reach the arms out and up, palms connect. Exhale, let the palms come to heart center. And then start to lift up onto the tippy toes as the knees bend and the hips soften towards the heels. So we're coming into a little toe balance. If you need to stay higher, that's fine. Not long, just long enough to let Udan give you a kiss. This quiet, sweet, Somewhat otherworldly quality. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, we'll come to kneeling. 
So hands to the floor and step your feet back so you can sit on your heels. If that's not comfortable for you, you can come into easy pose, no problem. So just allow your spine to be nice and tall. And we'll do another round of hands breathing, but this time from seated. Inhale, extend up, pran, pran. Exhale, fold the fingers around the thumbs, pull down upon saman. Inhale, exhale. Keep going. You can make it slower or faster as you enjoy. You can soften the movement. You can just breathe strongly and consciously if the shoulders prefer a rest. Just a few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Reach up through your fingertips. Exhale and spread this quality through all the space around you. Let the fingers gradually come to the ground. You can lift up off the heels, cross the ankles, and then draw the seat to the floor. Setting up for boat, feet can begin as always to the ground. Hands can support the thighs. Lean back and start to tune into pran pran. So there's a lift happening in the heart center, no sense of collapse. And then maybe you can lift the feet off the floor. Pran, pran, still rising you up through your chest. Maybe the hands can release without sacrificing this pran at the heart center. You can keep it simple here. You can rest your feet to the ground or join me for a little Vian exploration. Peace fingers to the big toes. Inhale. And exhale, extend your right leg out. Inhale back to center without collapsing the chest. Exhale and left side. Bring it in. Extend right. Bring it in. Extend left. You can stay with this alternating of sides, a little more accessible. Or if you like, with an exhale, See what's possible if you extend both of your legs and maybe fully, maybe part way. Keep lifting, prawn at the heart. And if you like even more spice, maybe release the fingers from your feet. Who knows? Let prawn lift you up. Feel Vian radiate out. Saman at the navel, making it all possible. Breathe in. And as you exhale, let's bring the heels towards the floor, soles together, hands to the feet, and then ripple into your full seated height. Shoulders melt, pran, pran. Not just lifting your lungs, but your crown. Upon pran, feel it melt through your seat, your thighs, your feet. You can stay vertical here or join me for a little release forward. Maybe the heels coming a bit further away from your seat. Grow tall, inhale, prawn. Exhale, pull the belly in gently, just a little bit to let you release the chest forward. And just do whatever body allows without strain or force. Eyes are welcome to close. Savor. In these softer poses, it can be a little bit easier to tune into a pan. Grounding, rooting, and releasing to gravity, eliminating the excess toxicity in the body through every exhalation. And also udan, this mysterious, subtle upgrade. Let your next inhalation help you ripple up and out of your fold. Gather the outer knees in towards each other, and we'll come to lay on the back. 
We're moving through uh, shoulder stand, plow, and fish. This is a pretty traditional sequence, um, and it's beloved for being so balancing. And I'm hoping that today, with the focus on the prawns, you'll start to have more direct insight into why it's so balancing for the body. So if you want more core, you can take a nice slow transition or softly just release your body weight to the floor. And then draw your knees to your chest and then extend the feet up. And you're welcome to stay in this gentle variation of shoulder stand. Inversions are an invitation to Udan. You can stay here, or maybe the toes reach beyond the crown as you bring the hands to the back of the body. Maybe half shoulder stand where the pelvis is over the elbows like so. Or full supported shoulder stand where the pelvis is over the shoulder girdle. But just take care of your body. If you've got any head pressure issues, if you've got unmedicated high or low blood pressure, if you're on the heaviest days of menstruation, you might opt out of these latter two positions. The eyes soften, the chin lifts just a touch away from the throat. And feel the blessing of Udan. If the bones are able to stack one on top of the other, you might feel even less effort is necessary here. Last inhale. From half or full shoulder stand, feel free to release the feet on or towards the ground for plow drawing the elbows in towards the body even more. It's fine if the toes don't come down. If they're hovering, keep the support of the hands to the back. If they're able to come down, you might thread the fingers together and then draw the arms to press gently into the floor beyond your body. Maintain the length of your spine by lifting your tailbone up. So a little bit of Saman Pran here little bit of core activation to lengthen your back. Welcome, Udan. We'll transition now into fish. You can come with me through the transition or just gently release your whole spine down. I'll give both options. If you want to try coming directly into it, release the hands to the floor, palms pressing down, and then with control, your body weight comes down, and the legs may be bent, or maybe you can keep them straight as you release the lower body to the floor. So the palms are ideally already underneath your thighs or your hips. You can scoot them underneath now if uh, you just came gently down to the floor. And then rise up onto your elbows, pull your elbows in towards each other, lift your chest, prawn, prawn, and then yield your head weight down. So you might be hovering off the ground, or you could release your crown gently to the floor, not too much weight through the head. Eyes can close. And this is like a beautiful last lift through pran to bless your whole body with a flood of energy. At the same time, there's so much grounded connection of your lower body to the floor. Feel the pulse of every inhalation increase your vital flow. Last inhale. And then as you exhale, you can just peel out by letting the elbows melt from underneath the body and the back of the head comes down. And then the knees will likely want to come in towards the body. Take the hands gently to the shins and then give yourself a little rock side to side. 
very brief spinal twist. Take your palms open towards the ceiling. Stack your knees directly over your pelvis. Inhale. And as you exhale, draw your knees towards the left hand side. I'm not coming all the way down. I don't want to turn the mic off, but you can. And if you don't come comfortably all the way down, feel free to use a block or a wadded up blanket to support your left thigh kind of rising the floor to meet your body. Keep rolling open through the right side of your chest. The right shoulder blade is softening onto the back and even rooting towards the floor. Take one more inhale. Exhale to relax. And then let your inhale help you rise through center and exhale over to the right hand side. Again, using your block or your blanket to support your right thigh if needed. And then welcome your left shoulder onto the ground. The left side of your chest blossoming up. Last cycle. Inhale to gently return to center. Exhale. You could take your feet to the mat with the feet mat with the part, tent the knees in, and hands rest to your low belly. This is constructive rest, variation of Shavasana. I encourage you to stay here if it feels really just good. Or you can extend your feet out from underneath and open the palms. And notice, it's like you're back in Samastitihi, but in the complete surrender of your body weight to the floor. Stay in your rest position. And sense the balance of these movements. Pran, pran that fueled you with power to grow and move forward. A pan pran that blesses you with the power to rest and release and empty. Saman pran, the strength to draw everything into one point of focus, Vian Pran, the explosion of generosity, the radiance of your energy out from your center. And finally, especially now, Udan Pran, like a breeze or a breath of the divine the higher, the deeper, of the real, of the truth, of you. Rest in this blessing of Udan. I'll call you back when it's time.
You are welcome to stay in your relaxation for as long as you like. Or gradually pull your knees in towards your chest. Give your body a little hug. And roll onto your right hand side. And using the support of your hands, come into a comfortable seated position. However that looks, as long as the spine is tall. As you find your comfortable seat, close your eyes one last time. And sense the energetic balance inside you. What will you do with this quality of balance today? Let it flow to everyone and everything around you. Bring your palms to Namaskar Mudra in front of the chest. And you can join me for a single Om and three blessings of Shanti if you like, breathing in. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste.